disaster experiments here. So I did mention making, um, I did mention making, um, dark field filters for my microscope out of glass. And I did make a lot of prototypes and I tested out prototypes with all different magnifications and I found the right size for the 10, 4X, the 10X, and the 40X lenses on my microscope. So these are the dark field sizes. Essentially what I did is I used black Sharpies and black Gorilla Tape and circular objects. I got all different size circular objects and I tried out every single circular size for every single magnification and I... Um, made it so that the best circle size for each magnification, I labeled it as that magnification. Unfortunately, I couldn't get it working at 100x because um, there is way too much light bleed and nobody can really get dark field at 100x. But yeah, there are other ways, but I'm going to wait until the next video to try them. I fine-tuned them. The specimen that I used to fine-tune them was cholera bacteria the reason i use this is because it's one of the only bacteria samples i have and i would really want my microscope to really make bacteria pop in contrast well because that is the main reason thing that i want to look at under a microscope so yeah let's try the 4x dark field and this time I'm not going to use cholera i'm going to use another sample this time the sample is going to be eeny, meeny, miny, mo dog stomach pyloric region. Here it is at 64x, no polarization or dark field. Now let's just add the dark field filter. Called 4x dark. Edge of the specimen. Uh, try 10x dark field. You really see that awesome pop. I really fine-tuned this and tried out so many different circle sizes until I found the right one because um, I didn't really do as much research with the 4x dark field because since it only goes up to 64x with the 16x objectives, I would never use it for bacteria, so I didn't fine-tune it. But the 10x one, I tried out so many different size circles to try to get it perfected. 40x dark field so you might notice that this circle is bigger than the other two and the reason is because with 40x magnification you get a lot of bleed and what that means is light bleed essentially is the reason why it's more and more difficult to create dark field effects at higher magnifications because the bleed of light it all scatters and it creates a light bleed so it looks more and more bright field it is at 640x magnification without any um filter and now i'm gonna add the filter as you can see it almost looks bright field when you add the filter at 640x because the larger the objective magnification the more light bleed is able to happen and even with a large circle you still get light bleed if you make it any larger you won't be able to like see anything but if you make it any smaller, it will just look dark. For that reason, it was pretty much impossible to make one that worked for the 100x magnification. And I didn't. I attempted to, but I can barely get the 100x magnification working without any dark field. So, uh, yeah. Hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video. I also made a few other mods to the microscope. I took this 4x lens. It has this brass coating which makes it um, reflect light and makes the picture a little blurry because of all the light beams bouncing off. So what I did is I took some black pieces from the microscope that I took apart and stuff that aren't in use in the microscope, and I used them to build a sort of blind so that there's not so much light, scattered beams of light in the 4X lens. And I'm going to make similar modifications to the microscope just to improve it slightly over time.